Hey y'all, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I want to talk to you about Inkscape multi-page documents. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep you motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. Inkscape has released a new function. They have just updated to version 2.1, I think it is, um, and 1.2. Anyways, I have dyslexia this morning. I haven't had all of my coffee, so I'm going to take a little sip now. But one thing that we were always asking for, for probably decades, is the ability to create multiple pages in Inkscape. And y'all, they have finally done it. So as digital creators, what that means for us is we can create multi-page PDFs in Inkscape without having to utilize another program. Now, this is pretty powerful because we can use the power of the Inkscape um, GUI and interface to basically create these multi-page PDFs to upload to our Etsy shops. Um, and while they're not necessarily editable, um, I believe there is, you know, some way that you can incorporate this into other programs that people can edit. I'm not entirely sure on that piece just yet. However, I am very excited to show you the multi-page document features, okay? So I'm going to head over to my computer screen and we'll get started. This should be a pretty quick um, overview, a pretty quick uh, tutorial walkthrough because there's really not much to it, okay? So as you can see on the user inter interface, things have changed. The icons have gotten a little bit cleaner. But if you notice here on the bottom right corner, and actually I'm going to pause it and um, make my icons bigger. So hold on. Okay, so they have changed the interface as far as how you can update your icon sizes as well. And, and I'll be sure to put that in the Inkscape course update. I'll be adding some of this information into the Inkscape course update, and I'll be going through some of the other uh, tools and functions and features that will not be featured on the YouTube channel. However, if you're interested in that, you can go check out the Inkscape course up above. You can get that for $97 and learn everything there is about creating SVGs with Inkscape. And as new features come out, I tend to post information in there as well as different tutorials to help you grow your business. But anyways, I'll get off that soapbox back to my computer screen. Um, <clears throat> you can see here, if I click on document properties, um, I have a custom 12 by 12 inch. Um, and that is what I, us I usually will utilize. You can click on this and you can actually change the page size if that's something that you wish to do. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to 8.5 by 11. So you can see that it's made that changes there. Now, you'll notice um, on the icons in the very bottom, there is a tool called Create and Edit Document Pages. If you click on this, you will see nodes in the corner. So you can utilize these nodes to change the page size to whatever you so wish. However, if you are looking to just kind of um, change the page size, you can easily just go up to Document Properties and change the format here so it is not in the custom of whatever you have set, okay? So up here, you can see that it is US letter. You can similarly use this drop down to change the size. You see there, I just changed it to an alpha four. Um, and then you can fit the page to the current selection if you have an item in here. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But you can create a new page by clicking this right here, create a new page, and it's gonna create a duplicate of the first page, okay? And you can see here when we click on these, uh, when we're in the icon here, that it's gonna show you what page you're on. One of two, two of two, okay? We can continue to add pages until the end of time if that's something that we wanna do, all right? So keep that in mind. All right, so I'm gonna actually back out. I don't want that many pages. I really just wanna show you guys how this interface works, okay? Uh, you can move the page order around. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to take some text real quick and I'm gonna type out one, two, three. And then I'm going to path, object to path, and then I'm gonna ungroup that. And I'm just gonna move these here so y'all can see what this looks like. Uh, now, one important thing to note when you are editing the pages is that you can move 
overlapping objects as the page is moved. So this is important because you can actually move the page around. Now, um, when you move this page and you have that checked, you can move it and it's not going to move that number around. Now, if you have it unchecked when you move the page, it's going to keep whatever you have there. So if you are creating items, you want to make sure that this is checked here because you want to make sure that your items are actually staying on the artboard, okay? Now I can take this page three. I can um, fit the page to the current selection. So what this is gonna do is if you have items on the artboard and you wanna eliminate any white space around it, you can click this and it's going to just go around what is selected, okay? So, or what is on the board itself. So if I was to draw like, let's just say a circle over here and go back to the page editor, I can click this and it's going to just keep the three and the circle in scope, okay? So that's interesting uh, tip to use if, if you're looking to do something like that, all right? Um, and then obviously you can scroll through um, the different pages um, by clicking on them. But one thing you can do is adjust the page order by utilizing this uh, toggle right here, which is move page backwards in the page order. So you can see I just moved three to the front. And similarly, I can move it back to the back by toggling back and forth on here. So if you need to reorder anything, you have the ability to do that. So it's really interesting tool that they've utilized. I'm not really sure how I would use this as a digital server because I don't offer PDFs, um, but it might be very well useful for some of you who are doing, let's just say, um, different type of stationary templates or things like that, okay? So to save this, you would just go to File, Save As, um, and I'm just going to save this to my desktop and I'm going to just go type multi page test and you're going to want to go down to uh, PDF and click on save. All right. Um, and I just leave all these defaults the same. Click OK. Now we're going to go ahead and open that up and go to our desktop. And I'm opening the... Oh, it opened on my other window. Okay, so you can see here that I have one, two, three pages, just like in my um, document over there. So again, super powerful to the point where, I mean, it's just super cool. You have the ability to create multi-page documents now with an Inkscape. Um, there's some tools for you to utilize to, um, you know, you can change page sizes. They don't have to be completely uniform. Um, so just go ahead and play around with it. Let me know in the comments below what you would utilize something like this for. I will be updating the course content with the multi-page information as well as some of the other new features with the release, um, particularly document properties and how to adjust that because this interface looks entirely different than what I was utilizing in the course, but that's okay. It's a check and adjust. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. So if you have any questions or comments uh, about the functionality of this, feel free to drop a comment in the comments box below. Um, and as always, if you got something out of this video, like and subscribe below because that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. If you need anything at all, don't hesitate to reach out. Shooting Star SVG, signing out.